You know sliced bread? It was illegal to eat during World War II. Here's why. So bread becomes big business in the 1920s. These bread barons build bread factories everywhere and pump out millions of loaves per week. But because all the bread's the same, sales plummet. The bread barons keep cutting prices to compete, except it's not sustainable. They all start going bankrupt. But then this guy, Otto Ronweeder, gives the perfect way to stand out, pre-sliced bread. And within five years, 90% of all bread is sliced, but then President Roosevelt ruins it. He makes the more expensive sliced bread illegal because he wants to keep costs down during World War II. Otto's not phased though. He's got a 20 million mom army that buys sliced bread. So he mobilizes them with a stop your thumbs from getting chopped campaign. They march on Washington, and the sliced bread ban only lasts 43 days. 